Hello, hello. Y'all come on in. Hey, hey, how are you? It's been a minute. I've got glitter everywhere, y'all. I was dismantling a wreath so that I can make it better. Hey, Donna. I've got glitter everywhere, I'm telling you. All right, so how has everybody been? It's been a minute. Hey, Rude. It has been a hot minute. But I'm here. I don't know that I'll be live the rest of the week, and I'm on vacation all next week. I will be gone Monday, and I'll be back Saturday next week. Thank you. So I hope you guys have had a good week. A good past few days. Um, I have... Turn some light on the subject. Alright, so tonight, this is the sign we're working with. I did not make this sign. This sign came from personally yours. Yep, personally yours. I got it last year, made a wreath with it, and just decided that I wanted to revamp it, so that's what we're doing. We took it apart, now we're going to put it on the large board. Uh, Panama City Beach. Waiting for some birdies. There you go. I bet that's going to be pretty, Donna. Hey, Trudy. So we are going to put this sign on this board. Hey Lynn, again, I did not make this sign. Okay, the ribbons that I had in the other wreath, I don't know if I'm going to use them in this one, but this is one of them. Okay, I know I'm going to use this one. I love all those colors. Okay. Plus we've got these two. Look at the sparkle on that. Um, these two. Lots of sparkle. And then there's these two. Okay, so there's those. We got some snowflakes. We got a little bit of everything going on. Some tubing. Here's the snowflakes. And I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with this little feller. I think I'm a uh, crafter's block, I think you want to call it. Because I haven't found anything that I'm just dying to make with this. Just haven't come up with it yet. So there's that. So let me point you down to the board instead of me so you can see what I'm doing. And I need to plug in my glue pot. Hey, Bonnie. Welcome. Hey, Sandra. All right. Give me one second to plug in my, excuse me, my glue pot. I'm going under. I 
promise I'll be back. All right. I'll move some stuff out of the way so I don't burn nothing. There we go. Hey, Nancy. We are all doing well. Just from my last craft show, I was wiped out, tired, so I didn't didn't do anything really, except make a few signs and post them. But I'm here now. Um, those of you that missed it, I won't be here next week. I'm leaving Monday morning for vacation. Be back Saturday. I will have my computer with me if you guys decide you want to purchase something, but I won't be able to ship it until I get back. So let's make a wreath. We have this blue. Um, Hobby Lobby. And we're going to mix it with white. Unless I decide to go all blue. But I think I may not even add the white because there'll be enough white with everything else. Alright, let's roll. Let me go ahead and load my board. We know how this is going to go. So how have y'all been? Tell me something I don't know. Have y'all made anything new? Hey Linda from Minnesota, welcome. So glad y'all are here. Hopefully we gain some new ones tonight. We need to make some sales. We need to sell some things that way I can make new. I need sign ideas. You know, what are y'all looking for? Because I can do it. I seen that. That was pretty. I know Donna's been working on a few projects. If you guys get me to 100 tonight, there will be a giveaway before I go on vacation. I'm not going to tell you what, but there will be a giveaway. Hi Jane, Vermont in the house, welcome. Is this your first time Miss Jane? I'm working on rows two and three. Two and three. Hi, Gail. Welcome. Welcome to the family. We love our new people. Those of you that are new, my name is Tammy with Unique Reads by Tammy, the one and only. Um, I don't just make reads, I make signs, I make centerpieces, um, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Um, if there's a sign or a wreath or anything that you might be looking for, you're more than welcome to ask me. If you have questions about what I'm doing, you're more than welcome to ask questions. If I don't answer, one of the other ladies will um, that have been following me for quite a while and most likely will know the answer. Um, let's see what else. This wreath that I'm making tonight is available. First come, first serve. No, I didn't. This one came from Personally Yours. So Personally 
L E E, yours. I made, where'd it go? This one, though. Hopefully when I get back, I'll be making it. I know I'm going to be making a green monster. Um, I know I'm going to be making an elf. I got a few ideas up my sleeve. But like I said, I got to make some sales before I can do it. Thank you. Lynn, I can't wait to see what you did with yours. Or what you're going to do with yours, I mean. This is a 10 inch sign. This is an 8 inch. Um, which one? All right, so move some of this stuff out of the way. So I went ahead and preloaded my board, rows one and two. Okay, those are the only two rows I'm working with tonight because my sign is so big that it's going to cover up most of it. See? Oh, I understand. Totally understand about being busy. All right, so there's 16 and there's 8. All right. Oh, yes, I did see that. Let me move this out of the way. Oh. I got to show you. I'm going to use my. Uh, some of y'all remember this. Thank you, Joanne. Uh, Jean Ann. Am I saying that right? Jean Ann? Jean Ann? Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Welcome if you're new. So. Those of you that know me, this is my very first bow maker. Very small. And I was making bows with it the other night. That's how much I missed using it. So funny. This is a tiny bow maker. It is only 7 inches long with two pegs. That is what I first learned how to make my bows with. And then I graduated to the easy bow. All right, I gotta fix this because it's crooked and it's gonna bug me. Give me just a second. There we go. Maybe that's better. All right. Yes. Let's see, how big do I want to cut these? Look how pretty this is. Don't know if I want to use white or not, so we're going to set it aside. I think I'm going to go 15 inches, y'all. So let me cut a few at 15 inches. Let's 
So I'm going to cut these at 15 inches. Hang on just a second. Sorry, I had to answer this customer. Yeah, I'm going to do uh, the, the ruffles that I always do. Because it's my favorite. So I'm just going to cut a few at a time. And I do believe I'm going to use white too. So let's do eight of each. Hi, honey. Two, three, four, five, six, If y'all have any questions, feel free to ask. It's okay if I talk to myself. Although some say I shouldn't shouldn't talk. I should just, you know, practice before I do anything. Weirdos. <laughs> Thank you. Cutting the white at 15 inches also. after my live tonight I'm gonna sit down and create some more signs to add to my shop while Etsy's having their $10 off of $40 to $40 I think it is two So I cut eight white and eight blue at 15 inches. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna take the white Get your clothespin. You're going to roll your ends three times. Clip it and flip it. Same thing on this side. Roll it three times. Scrunch it down the middle. Take it off clip. Looks like this. Then you're going to take it. Fold it over. Just like that makes a little fan pick a spot and put her in I'm 
should look like that. That one's a little hard to see, so we're going to do the blue one now. Okay, same thing. Roll your ends three times. Clip it, and then flip it. going to take it and fold it down just like that. And then this is what you got so far. I think having the white in here is going to help. All right, same thing. This is what I'm going to do all the way around. Um, when I get done, then I'll pick a color and I'll put my ribbon tails. So that's all you're going to do all the way around. got a wing board over here too but I think I'm going to dismantle it because it's a butterfly right now and I might turn it into an angel I don't know we'll see the thoughts there don't know how far the thought will go but my thoughts are there Where'd everybody go? Y'all got quiet. Men's got quiet. Or did I freeze up? Volume good? Can everybody hear me okay? Not yet. Teresa, you got me on the big screen. Yeah, I was thinking about making the angel. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> That's funny. You put me on the big screen. <laughs> so I, I was making the book wreath and I decided that it's just not going to work. I even bought Mod Podge 
it's a little more than I can chew. So I'm going to play around with it and try to get familiar with it before I ever decide to do another one. See, this one, I can do it. What size would you like? Currently, I am waiting on a shipment of the 8-inch rounds, but I still have 6, 10, and 12. Okay. I'm hoping that the 8 inch will be here this week. The Mod Podge did work. It's very messy. And it just wasn't turning out the way it's supposed to look. So I decided to just not even try. Put it down, walk back, walk away, and start over. Just let me know, Lynn, after the live or during it, whichever, how many and what size. And I will get that done for you. <laughs> so you need... So you want two? You're welcome. He's my favorite elf. I mean, him and that blue one, they just, they're so stinking cute. Like, how could you not want one? I gotta post my snowman one that I made, too. And I need to fix the one that I posted night before last because the snowflake is in the middle of the H. So I need to adjust that so that it can be seen better. The hello can be seen better. I thank Donna for pointing that out for me because I did not see that before I posted it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to give up totally because I'm definitely going to try again. It just was not turning out the way I wanted it to. And I was getting very frustrated. So instead of getting frustrated, I decided to walk away for a little bit. This is what I was using. Can you see it okay? I know there was a glare, so I'm sorry. But that's what I was using. And I had a paintbrush, and I was painting it on. I mean, I wasn't having any trouble with that part of it. It just, I don't know. The rest of it, it just wasn't going together like it should. Look how cute this is going to look, y'all. It'll look fabulous. It's gonna look fabulous. Yeah, I'm not gonna give up on it. I'm still gonna give it a try. It's just gonna be a while. Absolutely. Thank you, Nancy. I agree with you 100%, Linda. You know, who knows? When I come back to it, it might be prettier than when I started. One never knows until they do it.
I do have some ornaments that I could probably put on this wreath too. We'll do, we'll wait and see what happens. I don't want to put too much on it because I don't want it to be too busy and take away from the sign. I want the sign to stand out because after all that is the focal point. I enjoy making wreaths. I really do. I just wish that I could sell them as fast as I make them. Oh, I wanted to show you. This is the mesh that I was thinking about using with this sign. What do you think? And then I thought while I was in Florida, I could look for some peppermint candies to, uh, um, let's see, peppermint candies, maybe some cocoa, since it's how it's in the sign, and that's what he's drinking is hot cocoa. I don't know if I want to make it on a board or if I want to put it on a evergreen. think so? Let's play a minute. Okay, so here's what I was thinking. I don't know if I want to put it on a board. If I don't, I might put it here you know, with this mesh. And then all around I could do ornaments, I could do, let's see, peppermint candies, I could do, I don't know, all kinds of things. What do y'all think? Should I do it on this or a board? So that's the decision. I don't know which way I wanna go. But I am going to make them. One way or the other, I'm going to make them. You like the evergreen? Because, I mean, there's so much more you can add to it. And if I find it, I could probably get an elf. Make one of each. I could do that. One on the board, one on the evergreen. I can do that. I think I'll go on. Um, yeah, this came from Craft Outlet. All right, so when I get back from Florida, we will do one on the on the green. We'll do a live on that one, and then we'll do a live with one on the board. What, to make them both? I can do it. All right, that'll be it. And then I gotta make the green monster. I can't forget him, because he is one that I am dying to make. Because what I could do is make one of these, a green monster, and then another one of these. Because I got two shows next month. So I gotta make sure I have enough.
All right, ladies, let me move this. Here's what I have so far. I'm loving it. I love the color combo. Not too much blue, not too much white. Just right. I will master it. All right. Now, do I want to put, I do, I'm going to. On the white, I'm going to put this ribbon, okay, on the white. And this ribbon, is 14 inches, so I need eight. I'm only going to do one ribbon tail though. And then in the middle, I'll use one of the wide ones. So now what I'm going to do is flip this over and only on the white I will put another zip tie. Y'all to make three wreaths, I'd have to have at least three hundred dollars. I only have like half that. <laughs> I better get to selling, huh? Just to make it work. Okay, night. Hope you feel better. Get you some R&R. &R. Okay, only on the white. Okay, now I'm going to take and fasten them. I got the other three wreaths done that I had to make for a, a, a client that wanted three of the same. I did do that over the weekend. It was too cold to go riding, so I made wreaths. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to take like that gives it a little bit of color <laughs> no let me show you what I've got all right y'all I'll show you what I've got yeah. 
this is what I got. It needs help. It is not exactly what it's supposed to be like. So it's a work in progress. I'm not giving up. I'm taking a break. I'm not proud of it. Just gonna walk away for a little bit. Well, try to make sure your tail points kind of match before you put it in there. That way it sits right, looks right, feels right. Just like that. Exactly. I agree. I mean, because you fan them out enough, I mean, they're going to look just as nice. That way they're not crammed together. Yes. Um, you're in Florida, right, Lynn? It's been in the 60s here. And both Saturday and Sunday, we had a frost. We had our first frost. And I think when I come down there next week in Panama, it's going to be in the low 70s. Still nice enough to ride. Not too cold. Not too hot. Just right. Just the way we like it. Just right. I bet it's less humid, too. These are looking so cute. I 
I know, I've seen that from that hurricane or tropical storm, whichever one it, it is. I don't know what it is right now. <laughs> You're funny. I love the 70s. Hey, Dottie. Welcome. The 70s to me is perfect. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Everybody welcome Dottie to the page. Where are you watching from, Miss Dottie? Sugar Creek, Ohio. Well, welcome. Yeah, Judy, we are going to ride. We're not riding the bike to Florida. We're trailering it. But we are going to ride to uh, Apalachicola and Destin. I've never been in either one, so we're going to ride and check it out. Hey, Brenda. Welcome. Those of you that are new, welcome. Here's what we got. Loving this design. Oh, is it? All right. Thank you. So now I'm going to cut four of each color. Let me set this over here. So I'm going to cut four more blue at 15 inches and four more white at 15 inches. I know it's showing for next week while I'm down there. It's going to be in the, in the 70s, which, you know, I'm comfortable with that. I mean, I'll make sure I bring a light jacket. All right, four of those. And see, we still have plenty of blue left that we can make another wreath. Hey, Fonda. Welcome. Come on in. Because the weather's fine. I'm going to cut the white at 15 inches also. each. Let's move this down. Now where I'm going to put the white is where I'm going to, where the blue is, where my finger is, I'm going to do white. So it'll be opposite of where I'm at or where I started. Okay. So you roll it three times. Hey Mary, welcome. One, two, three. 
and then scrunch it down the middle. Fold it up. I'm going to start right here because the blue one's right there too. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, so you're going to roll the blue the same way three times. Flip it, do the same thing on both sides. Tammy, um, 15 inches. Both the white and the blue are 15 inches. And I'm rolling the ends three times and then scrunching it down the middle. Flip it over, fold it forward. Y'all, it's only 9 o'clock and I feel like I could go to sleep. Yes, ma'am. It's crazy how tired I am. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm almost done. Ain't got much more to go. Still got got to finish this. Put my ribbon tails on. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. And then add my snowflakes. And then it's bow time. Thank you, ladies. That one caught, caught me off guard. Usually I don't sneeze that loud. And this is what it's going to look like. so in love with it. I mean, it's like one of my favorites. Thank you.
Thank you, Mary. I do too. Thank you, Brenda. It says again, this wreath is available. First come, first serve. If you would like one, I could probably get it again and make it. Oh yeah, blue, especially Christmas. Uh, one of my trees one year was silver and blue. I was hung up on that. Hey, Tony. Now my tree is buffalo plaid, red and black buffalo plaid. With the trucks, because we all know how much I love trucks. One more blue. The buffalo. Yep. And then see every year, last couple of years, when I go, I look for anything in buffalo plaid and I add it to my tree every year. Donna. All right, let me go around and clip these off. Thank you. See how this is going to look. It's going to be fabulous. It's going to be fabulous. All right, let's pick. We can do this one, this one, Alright, so this is A, B, so we have A, B, C, and this is D. Oh, wow. B. All right. Because the rest of it I'll use my bow. All right. So we're going to cut our ribbon tails. I'm going to cut it 14 inches like the other one was. So I only need four. to do it, Tony. OK. 
Okay. These ribbons came from uh, Hobby Lobby last year. I have two, but I don't know how to do it. Hi, Michelle. Thank you, Tweety. So how do I want to do this? I think I'm going to go on the white again. Okay, can't wait to see it. It's okay. We'll keep trying. I know there's a way to do it, I just don't know how. Have you posted it on Facebook, Michelle? Um, let me look. Mm, doesn't look like it. No. I don't see anything. Probably if I did it on my tablet and not my computer. Oh no, I'll play around with it. Alright, let's see what Michelle's got here. That is adorable. <laughs> I love the Halloween one. Those are too cute. Too cute. Have you posted them on Facebook?
You're welcome. Okay. Going on the white. We're going to pull out all the colors. I didn't see them unless it was a few days and I haven't been on Facebook much. All right. What do you think of that? Chloe Bug, what you doing, girl? Here you go. All right. We got to finish. It's so sparkly. Oh, okay. I ain't been on Facebook today then. I think I posted something earlier about my live and then I shared a post or something. I can't remember, but other than that, I haven't really been on. Thank you. Okay, one more of those. It's really bringing out all the elements here. Hey, Deanna. Welcome, friend. Alright y'all, so this wreath needs a home, so help me help me find it a home. I'm going to put my sign on before I do anything else.
Hang on, Chloe. Okay. That does not matter where your top is. Or where your bottom is. Just place your sign. And then once you do that, then you'll know which way you want to put your bows. Try it right there first. Um, this one would be seventy. This one would be 70. Most of my wreaths on this size board are 70. On the large board. When I do it on the small board, it's 60, 65, depending on what I have in it. And I'm just looking to see if it's the way I want it before I tuck my Chanel stems in. And all I'm doing is tucking them back down inside the hole. You know, if you wanted to, you could even you could even change the sign. Thank you. Before I make my bow,
think what I might do I think I like that better. Just placing them wherever. I don't know if you guys can see the snowflakes or not. One, two, three. I'm just placing them around the wreath. I've got two more. See, they come on a long skewer, but I'm cutting them off of it. This one thank you I'm gonna fix this because I don't like that Thank you very much. Hello. Okay, so I've got two more. Trying to let it quit dripping before I move it. How are you? Thank you. So very much. Thank you. Alright, here's what it looks like with the snowflakes. I don't know if you can see them, but they're here. And everybody knows what time it is. Thank you, Tammy. As everybody knows what time it is, it is bow time. And I think that my bow is going to be around here somewhere thank you and it may not even be, need a bow let's take a vote on it does it need a bow or is it perfect the way it is let's take a vote bow whoops bow or no bow
Thank you, ladies. I think I agree with the no bow. I agree with you, ladies. Here's what we got. I do have some ornaments that I can put in there. Give me just a second. Let me go get them. I do too. Thank you. All right, let's play here. We have ornaments here, y'all. See? probably put like right here oh where where would I put it let's just play around with it real quick are too big. What do y'all think? Too big? Too big? That's what I'm thinking. I have some smaller ones. All right. What if we do some of these? if that's blue or black. I think it's black. Of course, I think it could pass for a dark blue. I'm not real sure. thinking it's a dark blue. Yeah, I think this is a dark blue. Yeah, I can place those around. We got that size. I do have silver. Yeah, 
Yeah, they are. I'm not using them. Let's see here. Back when I was making angels, I bought all these ornaments because they were perfect for the head. Okay. this. These or this one? It's a light blue. It don't match. See? I like them around the sign. I think the silver is blending too much. Let's put the silver against the blue. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Let me move this one and put a plain silver, shiny silver, I mean, at this end so that they match. There we go. I kind of like that. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Or I can leave them off. Either way. It don't matter to me. I think it looks really pretty just simple. Leave them on or leave them off? Um, whoops. These. Hey Yvonne, missed you too. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave them off, y'all. I think that it's pretty without it. I think that it would be too much. That's all I have for tonight, y'all. Oh, yeah, we could do that too. 
let's see here. Let's do something here. No, next week. We're leaving Monday. Well, I was trying to get those to um, tie together. Hold on. Hold on. I can't see Cindy, but hi. Yeah, I think so too. But I'm curious about something now. Hang on just a second. I was curious what it would look like if I actually did glue three of them together. Let's see. But we're not going to use those. I'm happy with the way it is. All right, so as always, ladies, I will take pictures. I'm up here. Okay. I've got glitter everywhere. Hey, Kathy. It's okay. Here's what we got. Thank you. So, as always, I will take pictures and post them. This wreath is available. Um, I don't remember who asked me, but this one is 70 um, plus uh, shipping. Thank you, thank you, ladies. Um, so, yeah, if anybody's interested, let me know. We will work something out. 
Lynn, don't forget to message me after the live so we can work out what kind of signs you want, how many. So, yes, that's it, y'all. Love you too, Tweety. So, I don't know if I'll be back live this week. If not, I'll see you. See, I'll be coming back on the 21st. So, Saturday 21st is when I'm coming back. So, depending on how I feel, I might go live Sunday. I might have to go live just to tell you all about it. So, yes, y'all. I will have my computer with me. So, if there's anything that you guys want or what have you, we can go ahead and order it. Um, I can invoice you, but I won't be able to mail it out until after I get back. Um, same with wreaths. Oh, I'll take lots of pictures, but I don't know how I'm going to do that on the bike, though. I'll figure it out. So, with that said, ladies, we did this in an hour and 38 minutes. Good time. Great talk. Ah, there we go. Ah, awesome, Cindy. Thank you. So Y'all have a great night. Thank you for joining, and I love every one of you. Night.